<sighs> Good morning, cameras from uh, Munich. Uh, today is going to be the vlog of the Audi Q3 review that I have published probably by now yesterday. I guess that's the car. And currently we are going to Italy. I traveled from Cologne to, to Munich to get a charter flight. Yeah, it was pretty stressy because um, thank you for amazing traffic jams at the German Autobahn. I emphasize it often enough in my vlogs. Everyone who are from outside of Germany, you're thinking Autobahn is the greatest invention. Yeah, nowadays unfortunately it's being plagued by all the construction zones. And I ask myself, how could they build a 28, I believe, kilometers or 29 even kilometers back when Nordschleife had to get with Suchleife in 1925 in two years, but they cannot finish a construction zone of one kilometer nowadays in like two years. A ah, bit of annoying frustration, so far my rant. Um, yeah, the flight was delayed as well, so not only the Autobahn. So now hopefully we get in time for a charter flight and we'll enjoy the rest of the day. There's something that you've seen probably yesterday. Whew. But this is like <laughs> a short insight into the life of automotive journalist or automotive vlogger, YouTuber. I don't know, it's not only like fun and games, it's also lots of traveling and all the stress in between. Now waiting for the second passenger, by the way, who was supposed to be on the same flight as I was. Um, so I guess they wouldn't leave without us. I hope. <laughs> okay, he arrived in time for the charter flight. It's a mandatory food shot. In case you're here, not for the Audi Q3. Chocolate croissant, I approve of it already. This? No, I think this. Hey, I'm your biggest fan. Okay, now it's time for more food, of course, and some presentation about the Q3. After a short introduction, we have picked the car. We had the choice from uh, three different vehicles, a TDI and two TFSI. I have the strongest Q345, which is, let me show it to you on a tech speak. Yeah, Q3 SLIN 45 TFSI Quattro with 450 PS and 350 newton meters. Also S-Tronic gearbox. Um, the diesel version has a manual transmission. Also comes with nice pedal shifts, like a race car, like a race car, yep. So, um, and to enjoy the car a lot, we have a couple of routes that we can choose. You can go straight to the hotel, or you can take a more scenic route, and this is basically what I'm gonna do, because, well, although it's gonna take longer, two hours longer, it's gonna be a lot more enjoyable. So let's do that and pick the route two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess, start tour. And then, the route is being calculated. yeah, we have the amazing virtual I cockpit right and we can swap the view. So something we've seen already in the R8, previously when I had a R8 uh, V10 uh, RWS for, uh, for a test drive. This is amazing. I love this feature so much. This is just like, ah, this is probably the best thing. The main reason why I would get this car as a daily, because it's just so, so, so damn convenient and so great. Uh, something I probably described in yesterday's test drive, that although you have like heads up display, etc., etc., this is the best way. Uh, so you will not get distracted with this. But anyway, I guess let's start driving and... I'll tell you something more along the way and show you more of the day, but basically uh, everything regarding the car you've seen probably in yesterday's video. Yep, yep, yep. Also shout out for Audi uh, for make, thinking of everything for this trip. You know, Italy have tow roads and all the test vehicles come with Taylor Pass so you don't have to worry about paying for the tow roads. Quick stop to... Um, enjoy the view and also shout out to whoever is responsible for this amazing soundtrack at the Audi department because the cars come with the with the SIM card and also SD card with all the all the music on it I mean this right now fits perfectly small pit stop and isn't that an awesome view 
Although I'd rather be up there with a like paraglider. But I guess we'll have to wait a couple of decades until Audi invents the flying car. That's a very nice road here I found. Very nice hairpin. But there's a shortcut as you can see. So I decided to take that. And I guess Q3 is kinda SUV because yeah. In the um, in off-road mode. Uh, I'm trying to make a video here, yeah. Anyway, if you're racing through the mountains, um, well, unlike this bike, you can go take shortcuts. Okay, that's enough before it gets demonetized. Oh, we're going again. Sorry, enjoy the view. Bye. So you thought that only Nürburgring was full of prototypes? Nope. That's the new massive Seat. Don't remember its name, but pretty sure someone can tell it in the comments. Oh well. We're off again. <laughs> So it appears they're all making like scenery shots or something. Oh well. More people from uh, Seat Volkswagen Audi group. That's it. Bye bye my Q3. And in the meanwhile we have arrived. Well we, me, you and I probably to my Arbor Hotel. So whatever you're gonna see later on and if you're gonna like it, you can check them out. So far pretty cool. It smells like wood because of all the wood here. Telling you the obvious. <clears throat> clumsy, clumsy entrance. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Very impressive. Very impressive. Oh, the, oh, just like. Okay. Guaranteed, that's good. Thank you. Hello. And then, here, um, nice desk. Cool, some uh, closets, whatever. Uh, bed. Pretty nice, 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 nice. That's fancy. Lots of wood, lots of lots of wood. Um, hope it's like fireproof wood. But uh, other than that, it, uh, it's nice. Oh, that's cool. It's like, who was here? I wonder. Not me. In there, in there, everywhere. <sighs> I mean, I'm not gonna be bitching about it, but woo! That's pretty cool. Very nice lounge. But I'm sure it's like also kind of a winter resort. When in the winter everything is covered in snow and then it's like extra cozy. Let's check out outside. Dum, 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 dum. Mm, that's nice. I mean, I would get rid of the tree so I have better view, but I guess I cannot have everything, huh? Um. Oh, wait a minute. Not sure that the microphone is picking up cowbells. That's pretty nice. Ah, the mini bar, very important thing. What do we get? Nothing. Hmm. What would we have? All kinds of things. This is on the back. Celebrate another drink. <laughs> the first drinks are on us. Hmm. Thank you. Very cool. Um. Oh, at least there's water. That's nice. What's there on top? Safe or something? Yep. And why is this soft? Why is this soft? Why is this not soft? Why is this softer than this one? <laughs> yeah, everything else is nice and cool. TV, I guess, not interested. Um, that's it. Uh, oh, that's not it. I guess. Probably this pocket, oh, the towels and stuff. That's cool. Well, um, yeah, the car is gone, so there's not going to be any test drive, and I'm pretty sad. Um, well, I'm gonna ask like Audi personnel if uh, if we can have a test drive at night because I think like Audi headlights are like one of the most impressive headlights. I mean, they're they pioneered the LED technique in like what 2008, I believe, on the R8, and ever since it's been like always an impressive thing. Um, so I don't understand why we wouldn't get like the test drive them at night to show how impressive it is. 
But anyway, um, it's about time to get dinner. I believe at 7 we have a get-together in the bar, so we're going to show you some food and drinks. Yeah. Um, by the way, um, let me know in the comments, because, I mean, that's all cool, but I kind of miss Diana. Uh, but on a serious note, I think she can contribute a lot to the test drives, because, for example, Q3 is aimed at... Um, let's say uh, probably young couples or at least like couples or slash family no suggestions uh, but no I think she can contribute by giving her opinion and especially she's not that into cars uh, although she lives in the Nürburgring uh, but giving her opinion I think would be valuable for people who want to know unbiased opinion of people who don't care about cars suppose you want to buy a car for your well, and you want to know an opinion of a girlfriend um, I think of the thing. So just let me know in the comments, um, and then I'm gonna ask the Audi and like other other the Audi and the others, <laughs> uh, Audi and other car manufacturers. If I ever get the, invited for test drives by them to uh, ask them to take Diana with me as well. Hmm. Hmm. The engines, the engines, and then the saddest thing of today's car industry. The particle filter. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You can rent the Vespa. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't have time for it. Let's check out the view. That's cool. Well, let's get the party started with some appetizers. No tuna joke, cause salmon. Okay, and tonight on the menu is... Stupid lights. Whiskey barbecue, huh? Barbecue sour, yes. Ah, okay. Interesting. Whiskey with some port. Fancy glasses too.